everyone, welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft single player let's play series. How is everyone doing? Well, I am doing amazing and I hope you are doing amazing as well. Now we are starting off the episode in the barn that we built in the last, uh, last episode and I am absolutely in love with this place. And in this episode we are going to of course build and yeah, we have a lot of names uh, to be given, especially uh, the ones that we have over here, the three llamas and our horse. So in the last episode, um, I asked for name suggestions for these animals and uh, you guys came up with a lot of suggestions and I thank everyone who has suggested the names, alright? so. From those name suggestions, I selected the name Bucky for our horse, and this name suggestion came from our friend Toxic Grim. So, thank you very much, Toxic Grim, for the amazing name suggestion. So, from this day onward, this horse shall be named Bucky. Amazing! All right. And as for the three llamas, we have first one, Athos, second one, Portos, and third one, Aramis. So these are Athos, Portos, and Aramis from the three musketeers. And these name suggestions came from our friend Mahir Asith Chaudhuri. Mahir, thank you so much. I love them. I wanted to add this particular bridge over here and I went ahead and started doing that I added this bridge you know in all those uh, fantasy like areas have those stone uh, semicircular bridge over a river or yeah it's like a stream something like that so we have something like that over here as well connecting this side with that side well technically you don't need the bridge but you know why not we just can add the bridge and I also extended the retainer wall that we had on that side and brought it up to this point and I also decided to uh, you know extend the ocean and bring it closer to our base so that you know there is no sand over here and I think um, this came I think it's better than before let me know in the comment uh, what do you think of the transformation of the base area so far and we have on the stone bridge we have Koda and Ramsey guarding this entire area this is kind of like you know the gateway from the ocean to our base area and these two brave souls are guarding the area all right so what else have I done I have also connected our mine mining area to our base and like I have I've been having a lot of trouble finding out or figuring out how I should be connecting the mining area and finally I decided to take a path from our base I decided to clear off the area over here and uh, made a tunnel through which we can go and yeah connect with the mining area like so and this is where we will be building today because our objective for today is to work on the mining area and finish it because you know I really want to get to that uh, dragon fight by I think episode 20 at least if not if not before so I want to you know finish some uh, at least the mining area before we reach episode 20 it's getting night time actually so let's make it daytime and I will see you at the, in the morning. Okay? See you then. 
Um, I think we have a situation over here. Yeah, I was about to start working on the mining area and these guys happened. Yeah, and I have to be very careful that I don't start a raid by killing the captain. So, I'll have to be very careful. Yeah, where is the captain? Oh, you know what? I might keep one of these. Oh, please don't kill me. Nice. What about the captain? Oh, the captain is dead. They killed themselves. All right. So, uh, yeah, not the not the best situation right now. I'm like covered in arrows. So it's already getting night time again um, because I you know I was waiting to fend off these guys let me let me make it daytime again and uh, let me see if I can break the crossbow of that pillager um, and if you sit around with him in a boat he will not be able to hit you so eventually the, the durability of the crossbow will end and he'll not be able to harm us so let's see if I can name that a pillager and uh, yeah, uh, make him our friend. But first, let's make it daytime again. Well, that took quite some time, uh, 15 minutes to be approximate. And we have a friend. Yes, there we have it. He's not going to harm us anymore now that he does not have... Um, the crossbow and I decided to name him Orochimaru I mean it had to be done because you know just look at his skin tone it looks just like Orochimaru's one so from this day onwards he's going to you know stay with us and uh, as a retainer of course and I'm gonna find him a job later on but for now he's gonna hang out in this tunnel and protect this tunnel all right so uh, we were we were hey don't go don't go don't go don't go you need to stay put okay all right so you want to stay there you stay there no problem so we were interrupted by the pillager attack before we could start building now you know let's let's get on with it let's let's finish the building let's finish decorating the area with the houses and uh, I decided to build you know the A-frame houses with you know dart on top uh, I think they will look very nice in this area and uh, they are going to be the stations where we are going to have our stone masons this is going to be this area is going to be the you know the villager trading area for the stone masons I mean it makes sense we have the mining area which will uh, allow us to mine the materials and we can bring them out and we can you know use the crane just think uh, and then we can sell them to the stone masons i think that's 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 going to be a good idea so let's dive into the time lapse and start the build i will see you after the build is done enjoy
So guys, we are back after the build, and uh, I think more can be added. Um, but am I going to add it? Am I going to add more to the area? I guess not. Um, and do I love it? Well, yeah, I absolutely adore it. But you guys will have to let me know what do you think about the area. I think it came out pretty nice. Uh, and I did a lot of work. Um, I added one, two, three, yeah, about three houses and a facade to another one. And of course, decoration has been added, details has been added to all over the place. So, let's take a look. Yeah, we start from the mining, uh, the tunnel, and then we come out and we have you know this uh, the deposit of stones and all those things and then we have this area we have one house two and then there is like another one three and there is another one over here four so this is technically not uh, complete this is just you know it's right like over there but this area needed a little bit of uh, feature so I added this house but the stone maces are going to be on this one and that one uh, and this one for now is occupied by Mr. Orochimaru you know you guys let me know in the comment what Orochimaru's uh, designation is going to be what is his uh, what is uh, his job in this particular area I'm not gonna take him away from this area because it's going to be a hassle but yeah if you do have any cool suggestions for his job let me know let me know in the comment section and uh, you know each of these eight frame houses have two beds the workstation the stone masons over here and uh, they'll have a furnace section and they can sleep over here so if I have two beds over here and two beds on this one and two work stations on this one and two work stations on the other one I can house a total of four stone masons and I think that's pretty good and I added a little bit of you know crop patch over here a little more stone uh, formation and more details and I think it's looking amazing and I added a well a very 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 basic well I mean, it had to be done. This area was looking a little bit empty and I added it. Yeah, so and I added a lot of uh, you know, trees and uh, grasses by bone milling the area. And I think this area is looking very, very beautiful in my opinion. And if I go on top of this, you'll be able to get a clear view of the area. So, I think this brick came out pretty nice. Okay, that will be it for this video. I wanted to break the bedrock of the nether ceiling uh, in this episode, but I will probably do that in the next episode. Uh, let's go to the project board area. And I just wanted to say, uh, if, you're, if you have watched the video up until now, so thank you very much for taking the time and watching the video and if you're not subscribed uh, please make sure you uh, subscribe if you enjoyed the content and uh, I want to thank everyone who has been watching the videos lately and uh, writing the comments thank you all for your support I hope you will keep up the support and obviously uh, continue with your amazing constructive feedbacks so so far in our world we have already completed the stables or the barn uh, technically the barn and the stables I did not make a separate stable I just did the barn and that will be it I'm not going to add anything new to the project board before the dragon fight I guess we have done the forge in that area where we smelted our ancient debris and we have the village trading hall is actually in general so we have the pumpkin and melon farm the the wool farm as well as the stone mason done 
I need to work on the villager breeding area so I need to find out where I want to place it because I have been using a very manual breeder on on the village on the other side of the ocean and I have to transport them all the way over here uh, but that is a hassle I just need to make a breeder somewhere in that at that area so that transporting the villager, villagers are a lot easier the mine area and the mine entrance we, are, we have completed the today so let's see in, most likely in the next episode I can tackle this one this one the gold farm will be done after I get the elytra so thank you everyone for watching the video if you enjoyed the video please make sure you leave a like and let me know in the comment section what do you think about the transformation in the mining area so uh, that llama is gonna die Hey wandering tra traders, please take better care of your pets. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Um, if you like the video, make sure you leave a like. And if you are not subscribed, consider subscribing. I will see you in the next episode. Till then, take care. Goodbye. And have some carrots. Goodbye.